Hello, and I just want to take a minute to introduce myself. I am Reverend Samantha Tree Walker of the Order of Standing Oak and Theofrith Justice of Raven Temple of Siax Wicca. And I put off doing this presentation, as it were, uh, basically because it's a subject that everybody has their opinions on. And I'm going to put mine out there right now. We're going to be talking to about, for just a little bit today, about the conflict with uh, Israel and the Palestinians and Hamas in um, Israel and Gaza and Rafa and all these things that have been going on. It's, it's divided a lot of people. And, you know, I see a lot of media, you know, on the left and on the right putting out all their things that they want to say about it. And stuff, and you have Christian leaders like Galore, really, excuse me, just, you know, putting their two cents in. But I haven't really seen any pagans or pagan leaders or anything like that uh, wade into this topic. And, I mean, and that's another thing. Please take this with a grain of salt of, you know, you don't have to agree with me. So, you know, uh you know, don't come at me in the comments after I post this because this is just my opinion. Some people will understand it and others, it won't It won't affect them. So having said that, I'm looking at the systematic slaughter of women and children and men in Gaza from the IDF and we're pushing 55,000 and, uh, you know, everybody keeps saying, oh, Hamas was gruesome and all this shit. Yeah, it was. But you guys got to think, it's like, before 1948, there was no Israel. And Israel really came into existence more after the Six-Day War in 1967, where the, the uh, land for the West Bank and Gaza was uh, taken from the Palestinian people, um, you know, I don't care what anybody says, you know, Israel has the right to exist, and I'm not talking about any of their Christianity, I'm not talking about any of their Judaism, I'm just talking about the people. Like the, the meme has been going on, there are no chosen people and there are no sacred places on earth. We are all the chosen people and every place is sacred. And people are dying because of a madman, Benjamin Netanyahu, and our own president, genocide Joe Biden. And yeah, I said that. I can legally say that. That's all that I will say. But, you know, he's not doing anything. You know, right now they're trying to broker a peace. Okay, that's great. But they're only brokering it for six weeks. After that, anything could happen again. Um, you know, and we've had... And it's 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 brought uh, it's made the sleeping giant here in the United States awake. All of the kids and teachers and staff and families and stuff at all of the major uh, universities here in the United States, the protesting. You know they're trying to make it illegal to protest now because our kids were standing up and saying no more to the killing, no more to genocide, no more for, you know, the fascism that is being put out by, you know, the Israeli government and things like that. Um, and, you know, and our own government's complicit in it too. APAC needs to be gotten right away with. Israel should have no influence in our elections. Israel should not get any of our money. Israel should not get any weapons. None of it. Iron Dome should be withdrawn. All of it. And stuff because we're not here to protect Israel. Israel is a, a, a conquering state. Why are we giving them our money? Oh, well, they said that Israel, Israel is God's people. Everybody on this planet is the God and Goddess's people, the Mother Earth's people. And as pagans, that's why I'm making this little uh, conversation and posting it. It's because of the fact that pagans are supposed to be the keepers of the earth. You know, we do, we tend to think about, you know, we just tend to stay on our lane. You know, 
uh, and not try not to make waves. We do protest and we are very politically active, but sometimes there's things I think that pagan leaders go a little bit underground for. And this is something that we should talk about. I mean, witches in England worked ritual to turn back the Nazis. Why can't we work ritual and, and send out energy to save the people of Gaza, save the people that had been herded into, into Rafa? And basically, it's like, you know, shooting fish in a barrel. It's made it so easy for, you know, Netanyahu and, and his IDF to, you know, just do this. And, and you know, the international court has now put out an arrest warrant for Netanyahu. And I hope somebody cashes in on it. We can't afford to have this. We can't afford to have Putin. We can't afford to have this. These are our brothers and sisters, you know. And if you disagree, you're unfeeling. I've had pagans that have recently that have said, well, they, it was each one of theirs faults. No, it wasn't. The Palestinians did not say in 1967, we want to be decimated during the Six Day War. And that was the thing that made their, the Israeli hold on that land impossible, more, more possible. So pagans shouldn't be cheering the conquest like that, you know, and what's happening now. And yes, work energy, send energy to get the ceasefire happening. Let's get the two-state solution, really two-state solution. And then we need to try Benjamin Netanyahu for war crimes. And that's all I'm going to say. You know, the rest is up to your morality and how you feel about this. But leave me comments. Share this uh, audio video that I'm putting on uh, YouTube. And I'll put it up in uh, uh, some of our podcast spots. But um, And we'll give you all the information of where that will be. But share this video. Share your thoughts. Share your love to the Palestinian people and send energy, work ritual, that we can get this um, ceasefire to happen, that no more people on either side have to die, and that eventually the Palestinians can have their homeland back. That's what I wish for the most. That's what I send energy the most. So having said that, I am Reverend Sylvanus Treewalker, the Order of Standing Oak, and I encourage you to share this video comment pass it around and let me know what you think and make your videos let's see what you guys think about this situation let, let the pagans that are out there speak up and having said that i bless you in the name of woden and freya until the next time